Hello, my most amazing artist. I would like to introduce you to an artist named Wayne Thiebaud. He was an American painter who was born in 1920 in Mesa, Arizona. He was known for his colorful works of common objects, especially desserts like pie, ice cream, and pastries. These artworks used a lot of repetition, that means an object over and over again, and shadows. These paintings displayed American sensibilities of everyday life. Wayne Thiebaud actually lived in Los Angeles and worked for Walt Disney Studios for a while in the animation department as a cartoonist. He also served in the Air Force. Today, we are going to be creating a cake like Wayne Thiebaud. Here is a drawing guide that you may go back and pause on in case you get stuck throughout my demonstration. First, you'll want to start with a pencil on your page. Start with an oval, then draw two lines down. Close the oval with a curve, then you'll draw a loop around to draw your next layer of cake. And you'll keep going to make more and more layers of cake. Then you can draw any kind of a plate that you'd like. Here's how you might draw a cake slice. First start with an arrow. Then draw another upside down V and erase the inside. Then you'll want to draw two straight lines down and erase the inside lines. Voila! A slice of cake. Then you can start to add your details. This is the fun part. You can create whatever kind of a cake that you want. I'm creating a unicorn cake here. Maybe you wanna make a different animal or something from a game that you like to play. It is totally up to you. Then you'll want to trace your pencil lines with anything black. A black Sharpie, a black marker, a black crayon, or a black colored pencil. If you use a black marker or a Sharpie, you should please erase your lines underneath so you don't see your pencil. Wayne Thiebaud used something called value in his work. Value is the lightness and the darkness of a color, from light to dark, white to black. He used value in order to show shadows in his artwork. Value can also be used with color, from dark to lightest version of the color. We will be adding some shadows to our cake. I want you to imagine a light source like the sun that's pointing on your cake. The parts that are farthest away from the sun will have a shadow. The closest will be lighter because the light is hitting it. So I'm going to use a black colored pencil. You could use a black crayon or even a black marker to color in your shadows on one side of your cake. I suggest using colored pencils or crayons. It'll be a little bit easier to blend the shadow. It's time to use crayons, markers, or colored pencils to color in the rest of your cake. When you're coloring in the rest of your cake, you can definitely overlap the black or go over the top of where you have put your shadow in order to blend your color into the shadow a little bit more. Adding shadows to artworks makes them look more 3D or three-dimensional. It makes them look a lot more realistic, almost as if you could pick them up right out of the paper, like this cake, and eat it. <laughs> 
I hope that you have a lot of fun creating your very own Wayne Tebow inspired dessert cake today. I can't wait to see all of the creative details that you add to make them all your own. Have a wonderful day, amazing artist. And thanks again for doing a great job on your artwork at home.